Hello my friends, it's Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Marzina again. And today I have 40 ways to do squats. Lots of ideas, I hope you're gonna pick your favorites and really take the workouts to the next level. If you choose to do the whole workout asset as one workout, let me warn you, you will be sore next day. I was so sore and I actually like it. I like to feel my body respond this way to a good workout. For the first exercise, you will need no equipment, but then I will introduce posus and gliding discs or paper plates and, and, and dumbbells and just a lot of great stuff. I will be doing about 12 reps or six per side. Are you ready? All right, it's squat and front kick. We're gonna alternate legs. I'm just making sure that we know the regular squat, we know how it's supposed to look, we're gonna keep our feet about shoulders wide apart, and when we squat, we are shifting body weight back toward heels. We are not allowing our knees to pass toes. We keep core engaged and we breathe. Because this option is more intensive, make sure your breathing is catching up with you. Now it's squat and same leg kick. We're gonna continue with front kicks, about six per side. Same position, feet shoulders wide apart, abs engaged. Go ahead, push your hips back, kick forward. Now it could be knee level kick, could be hip level kick. If you're more flexible, go ahead, kick higher. This one is great exercise you can put to your intervals or cardio workout. We need no equipment, so we can do it absolutely anywhere. Please notice I'm not leaning forward. Chin is up and parallel to the floor. And squat with side lifts. As before, we're gonna start with alternate legs, so go ahead. Dip it down with squat and then lift up your leg, not too fast, all right? I want you to feel how heavy your leg is. Keep going. We could be incorporating light weights along with this one, or we could be um, using ankle weights. I will show you this option with bends in a moment. But this is the basic option, again, if, if you want to start with some warm-up exercise, that's definitely a great one to put on the list. And now we're going to focus on one side, six reps, squat, side, lift. And again, the slower, the better. If you want, you can actually pull that last lift and really challenge yourself. I really encourage you to try all those options. Did you know there's 40 ways to squat? I didn't. Guys, it took me a week to find all of them. All right, another more intensive option for squats, we're gonna jump forward and backward. That would be, again, something uh, that you can put on your list if you like to do intervals or uh, a lot of cardio exercise. It doesn't have to be huge jump, all right? Just keep moving. Definitely incorporate your arms, all right? Start swinging them back and forward. You're definitely gonna see that your jump is longer if you move your arms along. You never wanna just hang your arms or, you know, put your hands on your hips. It's gonna make the whole thing so much harder. All right, fly your jump, and this one is really intensive. We're gonna alternate arms first. You can do it with the bench as well. Please notice I'm not bending forward too much. 
I keep my chin up. I, I'm not dropping my head down, it's important. You're quickly gonna feel burning in those quads. March a little bit and let's go ahead and try another option. Both hands down and this time we will try jump a little bit higher. Now, if you guys have issues with back pain or knee pain or for any reason you wanna modify those high impact moves, how about if you go with high knee instead or just lift up your heels, right? You're gonna do cow press instead or just move your arms up and down like I'm showing you here. So really, you have at least two modifications here. One leg squat, single leg squat. Here we're gonna have one toe pointed aligned with the other toes and we will not be pressing on that toe. Instead, you continue shifting your body weight back to your heel. You'll be paying attention to your knee and make sure it's again right above, aligned with your calf and it's not passing your toe. And sometimes it will mean that your squat will not go very far. You're just gonna go a few inches down and up. It may not be that 90 degree point flex eventually, but don't worry about it, you'll get there. This is a great exercise if you wanna practice to do peaceful squat, which actually is not included in this workout, because guess what, I can't do it yet. And I'm trying to show you this one from every angle so you can see how our feet are set up. Again, I hope you can tell my toes are aligned and my feet probably more like hips wide apart. Very important that we keep or engage. Breathe through it. We could definitely freeze that squat down here for a moment. And again, I'm only doing six, six per side. Keep going. Nice and low. And we'll be moving on to the next exercise. Bear with me. All right, here we need to have yoga socks, Pilates socks, resistant band, and then also ankle band, so the round band. Now, if you don't have them yet, please watch this video and just try to do as much as you can without, but I, I really encourage you to get those things. This is something we can take anywhere and have such a great workout. All right, sumo squat, plie squat. Notice that my feet are so much wider now with toes pointed out, out. Now I will be squatting a little bit deeper, but still it's very close to the 90 degree point flex. My feet are grounded on the floor and I'm not moving my knees forward. I am just allowing them to slide out and in and I stretch the bend to engage upper back. All right, another variation for this squat is when we start moving one heel off the ground and I am only stretching the opposite end of the band. I hope you can tell. Right, so right heel and left end of the band is being stretched. Avoid leaning forward. Keep your shoulders square with hips, abdominals engaged. You can definitely do it wearing shoes, but bare feet you get the most out of this exercise. And one more variation, very similar. Just now, we're gonna move right heel and we're gonna stretch one right end of the band. So I know it, they, those three look like the same exercise, but once you do them, trust me, you're gonna feel a difference. And it's a great exercise for our brain. All right, now here we're gonna need a little bit of support. Both heels are off the ground. And this is more advanced option. I want you really give it a try. If you work out at home, you can 
support on a chair or table. Uh, you could use anything. Bar, stick, wall. And again, I'm gonna do six per side. It does matter, right? Because sometimes it's easier if we support one hand, sometimes the other one. Avoid leaning forward, be very focused. And if one arm support is too hard for you, you could always support both. Okay, now we have squat with side lift and I will be putting bands on. You already uh, saw the option without the band. Now this is step forward. This is gonna take your workout to the next level. And if you like saving time, if you don't wanna be at the gym three hours a day, this is the way to do it. Okay, it's definitely gonna engage glutes more, also out thighs and inner thighs. You will not be going very far with that lift, but that's fine. Right, so it's definitely smaller range of motion. And now squat. We're gonna draw a circle with our leg out. Yes, very challenging because again, balancing on one leg, um, many of you can find this part challenging. Just keep trying, start with a smaller circle and then get better and better. No squares, no triangles, we need a circle. Check on your form every now and then. Ballet squats. Now, this is a little different version for squats. We have heels against each other and toes pointed out and we'll be squatting and pushing those knees out to the side but not forward. As you come back up I really want you to engage those inner thighs and glutes. Guys, if there are any guys watching this video don't think this is just for women. You will be so surprised what a great workout it is and it's so different from all the squats that you are doing with dumbbells or bars. And again, we can have one arm support or both. Okay, this one is my favorite, I gotta tell you. I'm excited to show you this one. This is gonna be our secret. It's again one leg squat, but now we have band above our knees. And in a moment, we're gonna have another band. Patient. So fantastic way again to, you know, take everything to the next level. Open out this knee, come back in, really feel those glutes. All right, go ahead, switch side. Keep checking on your form. Remember, it makes no sense to do something if your form is not good. Keep shifting by the way back to your heel. Neck align with spine, don't look down. If you are working out in front of the mirror, you should see yourself in the mirror all the time. All right, and here is another option with another band. The reason why I love incorporating bands is that you really gonna target back muscles. And who doesn't need stronger back muscles? Guys, these days when we are in front of the computer many hours a day or, you know, using our phones, those back muscles are overstretched and quite often just not strong enough. So anytime we can incorporate some strengthening exercise for back, let's do it. Line up those toes and go. Many gyms where I teach don't have those bands, but I really encourage you to get your own. Sometimes having options 
with even better ideas. You can have some easier bands and some with more resistance and just use the proportion. Let's live life without regret. All right, this one is a tricky one. We're going to use the bulletin ball. And I really want you to take your time and find your balance before you actually do that squat. This is really advanced exercise. It's again single leg squat with one leg on the ball. Having mirror in front of you is very helpful here. First time you're gonna try this exercise, I want you to go very, very slowly. And even if you go one or two inches down and up, you got it. And always pay attention to your knee. Double and triple check if it's not passing your toes. We're gonna move on. It's squat with resistance ball. And here we're gonna squeeze the ball as we squat and then we're gonna add arm extension. Now I'm only showing this one option here, but we can definitely add knee up or we could start climbing up on our toes, right? Lifting heels off the ground. So there are all, the, all those options. I love adding them to my Pilates classes. They definitely are intensive. Those are great warm-up exercise. And here, because we hold the ball and we squeeze it with our thumbs, you'll be surprised how well your chest muscles work here. So if you put together squat with a ball and then the exercise I showed you with the ball, you actually have a total body workout in a few minutes. How's that for saving time? All right, we're gonna move on to the second group and here we're gonna use dumbbells. Now, I'm using seven and a half pounds dumbbells. This is my medium set and I don't recommend using weights that are too heavy. By heavy, I don't know, I, I mean probably not more than 12. I would say go with something that, that you're comfortable with and you can do more reps. Eventually you feel it. Very important that we have core engaged. We continue shifting body weight back to heels. We could do overhead presses and do plie squat instead. But again, I'm showing this the standard version. You can always switch things up. Squat and rows. So again, working upper back. I'm gonna do plie squat and I'll tell you a secret. Since I moved to doing plie squat instead of regular squat, when I lift heavier weights, I don't struggle with lower back pain. I do have some issues with my lower back and this been, just this transition has been so helpful. So again, you always have to check with your doctor what you can and what you cannot do, what you should and shouldn't, but if you already know you can, try switching things up and see what works for you. Side split squat, another option that's definitely on my favorite list. This one will really work inner thighs, out thighs, and again upper body. We're adding bicep curl here and we'll be extending arms forward. Keep shifting, by the way, back to the heel. Switch side. Make sure you don't swing your arms too fast, all right? I really, again, want you to feel the weight of that dumbbell. 
It's only seven and a half pounds, but in this position, it feels like 20. Control your breath. All right, here we have squat again and we'll be extending arms forward. Now we could split and do first we squat and then extend arms forward in a standing position, but putting those two together. So reaching forward as you squat makes it more challenging and it's a fantastic core strengthening exercise. I just want you to breathe through it. Don't hold your breath especially when you feel it's hard quite often we close our lips and we just we don't breathe remember to let it go and exhale all right we're gonna add a little bit of pulse to squats and that's gonna fire up those legs we need no equipment here go ahead put your hands behind you, core engaged, and I'm pulsing down for three, two, one, and up. Remember to squeeze those glutes. Well, you could squeeze for seven, you could squeeze for 20, and pulse for 20. I don't know, I like number three. Keep going. And always checking on your core. If you work out again in front of the mirror, I encourage you to turn around, you check your form from every possible angle. If you go to any group fitness classes, check with your instructor often, before or after class, ask, hey, how's my form? It's so important. You don't want to do something five times a week and do it wrong. Maybe on three squats. So now we're just gonna drop those hips down and hold it. And it's up to you how long you're gonna hold it. Just remember to breathe. You can hold for three. You can hold it 30 seconds and just let this tension in your quads to increase. And it's a great way to modify your workout. You may be so used to doing squats, you can do 40 squats, but then try holding it for a little bit and see how that feels. I've tried to check some facts about squats and I found one lady was holding squat for 55 minutes, but that was a wall squat. So a little different, I don't know if that's, if that counts. But still, you know, 55 minutes. Squat, knee to elbow. This is one of the great exercises that I like to put to the classes when we work core. And again, I'm only using medium weights. So here you want to remember that that uh, spinal rotation is not really big at all. Keep your core engaged. Try lift up those knees as close to elbow as you can and then just complete the whole thing with that rotation. We can easily do it without dumbbells too. All right, let's make sure we drink lots of four. If you guys do this workout with me, pause the video. Drink up, drink up. I've been pausing many, many times throughout this video. It took me actually two days to record. And you're doing great, I'm sure. I hope you're not just watching. If you are, you're just making a list of your favorite ones. All right, here's the BOSU. Have you guys ever seen BOSU at your gym? If you have it, here are the exercises I want you to try. 
squat on the bow too. Now it is challenging because here we really have to balance. So anything you do on a BOSU, I would say it's at least twice as challenging as you would do it on a mat, on a floor. Keep going. It's the same. It's the same squat. And now we're just gonna add arm moves, which trust me will make a difference because it's gonna hold our squat. So we pause that squat, arms open and close, and then we come back up. And again, you're gonna feel your legs are shaking. You're gonna feel your core is so engaged that it's hard to breathe. That's exactly what I want you to feel when you take your squats to BOSU. All right, here is a palacing squat on a bosu. So another modification to the regular squat, you can pulse 50 times, you can pulse three and come back up. I don't recommend using dumbbells when you work out with, uh, with bosu. The only option that I recommend would be using any resistance bands, but that's something you want to add when, once you feel more advanced with this, all right? You can take your squat to the side and just put one leg on the top, the other one on the floor. Again, those are great exercises you can do as a cardio segment because, believe me or not, your heart rate will shoot up with those. And just remember to switch sides, always giving both sides of your body the same workout. Unless you feel that one side of your body needs more or less of something. If you already know that's the case, then you want to balance your body. But other than this, always keep track of how many you did. I'm doing about six reps per side or 12 total. Guys, with both, you also want to be careful. Um, they're not supposed to slide on the floor. So if they are, they are missing those little attachments that hold everything in place. This is more advanced option. It's squat and we are curling me up to the side. We could kick it. We could do hamstring curl. Look how many options we have with both. With one leg exercise, you want to have your foot exactly at the top of the BOSU. When we transition to two leg exercise on a BOSU, then you keep, then you hold your feet hips wide apart with toes pointed forward. All right, and here we can modify this option. We can do squat and just altering things, right and left. Again, once you do it, your legs are on fire. And every single second on the BOSU, it's an ab workout. All right, I guess I'm back. Squat over the BOSU, another cardio exercise, we're gonna squat, jump over, squat. And I'll tell you the secret, my Bosu actually had that, uh, the, the thing on the bottom missing, so it was a little slippery, that's why I'm very careful here. And squat over the Bosu with more pulsing movement, this time you'll be pulsing down for one, for two, for three, however you wanna do it, right? The more you pulse, the more you're gonna feel that fire in your quads. And the less you pulse, the more intensive it will be, right? Because that's gonna move your heart rate up. So just choose whichever works for you. Keep going. Definitely let your arms move along with you. 
Here we could also hold the band and just stretch it along. Squat knee up. This time we are on the BOSU, both legs. Yes, catch your balance, squat, lift up your knee. And now it could be less than an inch first, all right? As you get more comfortable with BOSU, then you will want you move, move that knee higher. But take it easy. And again, having a mirror ahead of you is so helpful. Or looking down at something that's not moving. Well, you'll be moving. Continue checking on your form as you progress. And this is same squat from a little different angle. We're gonna hold it a little bit. Free squat or pulsing squat. Okay, well this one is super advanced option. We'll be putting BOSU upside down. If you don't feel comfortable doing squats with, with the previous position, don't even try this one, okay? This one is really advanced. I know it looks like fun, but again, you're gonna feel your whole body is shaking. One mistake and you have to somehow jump down. I'm gonna start with very slow tempo. Easy and slow. Coming back up, let's engage those glutes. Always remember to keep your toes pointed forward. Body weight in between both legs. Here on a BOSU, there's no cheating. We do something wrong, and again, we're gonna fall. All right, here I am incorporating paper plate or it could be gliding discs. If you don't have gliding discs yet, then obviously a uh, paper plate is the way to go. And you know, they, they're pretty good too. It's gonna be one way, one leg squat. Just now we can actually slide that leg, right? It's more like that split squat. As you slide gliding discs or plate out, Keep your foot light and then press more as you are coming back in to engage those inner thighs. If you guys watched my other video, I have a whole video with gliding discs and I always encourage you to be completely warm up before you start working with them. So that's never going to be your warm up exercise. We're going to do six per leg. Always take it, take time to think about your position, all right? Make sure everything looks good, everything feels right, and then you're gonna keep going. It's harder to come back. It's pretty easy to slide that plate out, so be smart, okay? Go just a little bit, repeat this few times, and then if you know you can go farther out, then go for it. But you don't wanna go very far in right away. And again, this is not gonna be very deep squat, right? Comparing to traditional squat, it's like we, we're probably gonna go just halfway down. I always like to bring my arms forward to balance position. And again, the same exercise from side angle. 
really pressing down on the toe and feeling those inner thighs getting a workout. Keep going, we guys just a few more. And this one, it reminds me figure skating, so that's where the name comes from. We're gonna draw a circle with our toe. And guys, I've been experimenting with this one and trying to find the best solution for where our arms should be. Moving arms along with the movement, so drawing that circle movement is the best and the easier way to do it right here right so if something else works for you go ahead but again I've tried all of those and I absolutely don't like anything else but just following my leg move with my hands it blends everything together and I really feel like figure skater I always wanted to be one any figure skaters watching this video? Oh, let me know. What? Are we done? Guys, I hope you're not too tired to press subscribe button and give me a like if you enjoyed it. And I hope you're gonna follow my other workouts and get amazing results. Because I'm working hard here for you 40 ways for squats. Come on, give me one like. And thank you for watching. Sleep well.